Hey. Thank you for meeting me. Do you want something? Uh, no. I'm okay, thank you. I don't want to be your enemy. No, you are... You are my son's grandmother. I don't think that we should be dealing with each other in a courtroom. I realize that my showing up at your door, that could not have been easy for you. The last thing I want to do is cause stress for you. Or for Noah. I appreciate that. I didn't know how else to get your attention. <laughs> you know, um, I... I used to think that Ellie never listened to me. But it was me. I wasn't saying anything she wanted to hear. I didn't see her. What she wanted. May I ask you... What happened? Normal. Teenager acting out. She had a boyfriend, a little older. My husband hated him. No one was good enough for his little girl. She started using drugs. The angrier my husband got, the more Ellie withdrew. He called the police on her once. My husband said we had to let her go. Tough love. He was convinced it was the right thing to do. I believed him. He died a year after Ellie left home. I lost my husband and my daughter. I don't want to lose my grandchild. I want what's best for my son. So what do we do now? You ready, Noah? Yes. Okay. So, honey, listen to me. Like we talked about, if you feel uncomfortable or you don't want to do this, you tell me, okay? Okay. Okay, you whisper in my ear like we do. Okay. Okay. Um, not too early. No, you're you're right on time. Come on in. Thank you. Your home is lovely. Oh, thank you. This must be Noah. He's perfect. So Noah, this is Sheila. Honey, can you say hello? Hello. Hello, Noah. It is so very nice to finally meet you. I'm your grandmother. Hi, Grandma. Hi. <clears throat> you and I, we're gonna get to know each other. Would that be okay? Okay. I'm glad. And I, um, I brought some books. I thought maybe I could read to you. Sure. Sure. Do you want to see my room? Yes. <laughs> I would love to see your room. 